In Menan country, the coconut is the main resource. Three million trees. The men of the Kotos clan live from this woodland wealth. They are the pickers. But they haven't climbed trees for many years now. They have found an ideal partner in the monkey. Buran has had monkeys all his life. Among the Kotos, he is regarded as a master. A well-trained monkey can cost as much as a buffalo. The reward system isn't enough for the monkey. The monkey has to feel protected and cherished. The flesh of the coconut is called copra. It is ground, pressed, and boiled for hours. It produces an oil that sells on the market. Coconut milk is used for cooking and as baby food. The coconut pickers are always on the move, going from place to place wherever their services are required. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. After a long day's work, the monkey's muscles are stiff. Bobo will only reach adulthood when she's three. Boran keeps a careful eye on her growth. Every year, there's a big coconut picking competition. The young trainers are already preparing for it. In Balimbing, all the Manan colors are flying. Yellow for nobility, red for joy, black for boldness. The day of the great competition has come. This is the moment for Bobo to show her skill to the rest of the clan. Buran has been priming her for a week. His reputation is at stake. As for Raina, the competition will tell her how much Bobo is worth. <laughs> Bobo picks seven coconuts in two minutes. Sahar is a prosperous merchant. He was the one who refereed the competition. And now he wants Bobo. The bartering is top secret. No one must know the price. Boran hasn't the heart to give Bobo up. Boran and Bobo can continue their brilliant coconut picking career together. Why separate gatherers from the sky?